New at 630, overnight, the drama around the Greensboro city manager's resignation deepened. One of the city council members now says the city put out a false statement about what happened. Councilman Zach Matheny is calling for a full investigation into how the statement was released without council approval. This all started on Tuesday when city manager Taiwu Jayoba abruptly resigned after weeks of talks over police releasing him over police being called to his house in December for a domestic issue. Right now it's unclear what happened at his house and no charges were ever filed. But on Wednesday, Mayor Nancy Vaughn told us he did not resign because of the police investigation. Instead, she said he violated an internal city policy that other people have been fired for in the past. She said she couldn't say what policy or reveal more because it was a personnel issue. Then Thursday, then Thursday, city's communication manager put out the statement about what the mayor had to say. Here is that statement. The city did not initiate an investigation into any purported violation of personnel policy by the city manager. Consequently, without an investigation, no determination could be established regarding any alleged breaches of personnel policy. The city is legally unauthorized to disclose details surrounding the resignation of the city manager or provide verification on the circumstances prompting his departure. Now check out what Councilman Zach Matheny posted to Facebook overnight about that statement saying there was no investigation. He writes, folks, I've been around city government for about 20 years. I've never encountered what the city of Greensboro is going through currently. But the statement put out by the city regarding the city manager's resignation is simply false. I promise to find out why and how such a statement would be released without council approval. And I've requested a full investigation so that transparency exists. Truthfully, this is not what I wanted. However, now it is necessary for public trust. Greensboro has too much momentum to let one person or two bring our community to a halt. I've reached out to Matheny to ask what parts of the city statement were false and get more clarification. I've also reached out to the city for comment. We hope to hear back from them when the offices open up in about an hour from now. We'll keep you posted.